Hey guys, how are you doing? In this episode, we are going to see about iOS 17.1.2 fast battery drain problem and some troubleshooting steps that you can try to fix the issue. I'm using iOS 17.1.2 in my iPhone 15 Plus. I have updated recently and compared it to the previous iOS 17 version, since iOS 17.1 and after that 17.1.1, it seems to be a very stable experience and in terms of battery performance also, I'm getting good battery backup overall. I have checked with few of my contacts who are using previous generation of iPhone models and they are also seeing a stable battery level performance after updating to the latest iOS 17. 17.1.2. This update contains only security fixes and there is no information about the bug fixes in the release notes. So just a couple of security fixes that Apple have fixed it after considering it as a high security risks and that the exploits could be actively exploited by hackers. So it is important to update to the latest version if you are security conscious. And before seeing the troubleshooting steps, let me give a quick uh, preview of my battery performance. Uh, as you can see, within settings and battery section, you can see that the overnight battery performance from 12 a.m. to 9, uh, you know, around the 8 a.m., the performance seems to be idle and reduces very minimal, even though there is a good number of off-screen usage around 1 hour 11 minutes overall and here you can see that I have completed the charge up to 100% last night around 12 a.m. and I have disconnected it. After that I have started using it and here the graph from morning 9 a.m. the usage was a little bit you know uh, continuous with the Instagram reels, the YouTube videos and a few other applications. But the Instagram is known to consume quite strong amount of battery power. So if you're new to iPhone and you're using Instagram Reels, YouTube Shorts and for video watching streaming purposes on mobile data or Wi-Fi, it doesn't matter like whenever it reaches 20% around you can start charging your iPhone to protect your iPhone battery health. I have a separate episode published in our channel to maintain your battery health. I leave a link to that in the description and in the first comment. If you are new to iPhone and concerned about how to maintain iPhone battery health then you can check that episode. And from morning to evening around uh, the time right now is 622 p.m you can see that I still have 50% uh, battery left so I can get through till tomorrow afternoon to reach the 20% around mark so that you know according to my usage the overnight battery drain is not going to be a problem here as this is a new iPhone 15 plus and you know so far the iOS 17.1.2 is showing a stable battery performance. After doing this sort of measurement according to your apps usage and overnight uh, battery idle graph you know understanding that try the troubleshooting steps that I'm going to suggest to you right now. So if you are experiencing fast battery drain problem, the very first check you need to do is make sure that your iPhone has a battery health percentage of at least 80 to 82 percent, 83 percentage around. You have reached the 2.5 years average mark, then it may be the time to replace your iPhone battery and you can check the battery health page, you know the battery health and charging page and if you see any notice that it is time to change the battery after your are seeing the 80% battery health mark then visit the Apple service center change the battery and then you will be able to get the peak performance usage once again. Apart from that if the battery condition is around 85% or more than that then you don't have to worry and if it is not reached that 2.5 years average time you don't have to worry about that. The very first troubleshooting step you need to do is check the applications that are consuming more battery power. Reinstall the application for example if it is Facebook or Instagram or YouTube then try reinstalling the application and if you're seeing a high amount of screen off time usage then that application will also be visible here when you tap on the percentage you will see how much background processing happened with each application so according to the usage of the application you can try reinstalling them in case of whatsapp if you're seeing high amount of background usage you cannot reinstall it as you will lose the data so you need to try the app offloading method navigate to settings generate General, then iPhone storage and here tap on the WhatsApp and here you can do the offload app method. Once you have done the offload, navigate to the App Store, search for WhatsApp and download install the WhatsApp application. So through this method, you can fix any app related bug that is causing the high amount of background app usage, even though some users normally turn it off by going to settings, general background app refresh and by keeping it off. I kept it on because it is a new phone. It is not 
not going to be a big problem for the battery as I have to enable it for certain applications that I want to use the background app refresh feature for. If you keep it off and there is no problem with your usage type then you can leave it off it is not a problem and even after leaving the background app refresh off then if you are seeing such high amount of background usage follow the step that I have suggested before. The next important step is go to settings general transfer or reset iPhone perform reset then do the reset all settings. So this will definitely be helpful to flush out any system software related bugs you know that a settings related bugs that is causing the fast battery drain after updating to the iOS 17.1.2. Even for some users using iPhone 14 Pro 14 Pro Max have complained about the fast battery drain problem. My suggestion is navigate to settings the battery section and the battery graph you need to understand how the drain happens whether it is actually a problem or not when you last charged and how much drain it uh, gradually happens according to your usage and if you are in a low signal coverage area then of course the battery drain will be a bit faster so understand that and I have also separate video about how to read the battery graph so I'll leave a link to that in the description and in the first comment you can check that too if you're new to iPhone then that will definitely helpful to understand how the drain happens whatever the scenario you need to charge your your iPhone around 20% to maintain your iPhone battery health that definitely helped for me uh, since iPhone 7 I'm following that so I'm suggesting you the same and after performing these two troubleshooting steps you will be able to see good battery uh, backup overall on your iPhone the battery performance will be much better and if you still experience any other issues you may share the screenshot with app section visible at dailyta.com slash answers I'll try to answer them at my free time thank you so much for watching for more useful iPhone iPad and Mac related tips and tricks don't forget to subscribe to our channel thank you and have a wonderful day